You, uh, wait for someone? Yeah. No. Do you want kids? What? No, I'm serious, it's not a crazy question. It's not. It, it is. Girls say they want kids before the first date and then guys get scared because they're scared of commitment and they ghost them. Uh, who are you? I just. You know, I feel like girls always think it's weird when I ask them if they want kids. Um, I'm Ralph, by the way. Well, Ralph, enjoy the milkshake. <laughs> I feel like no one ever appreciates that I'm planning for the future. Whose future? Sorry, he stood you up, by the way. Um, what's your name? I'm Catherine. Thanks. But seriously, do you want kids? Well, like, I, I don't know. How am I supposed to know that now? The first time you meet someone, you're supposed to start a little smaller. Test the waters, learn a few basic things, ask innocent follow-up questions. Regular stuff. Okay. Uh... How do you wish your date had gone? I guess we could have gotten a few drinks after class. Gotcha. Where do you go to school? Here. Anyway, it would have to be short because I'm always home by nine. You serious? If you want an actual good date, you would stay out way later. A real good first date should be more like... Catherine! What's your last name? No. Okay. Will you marry me? Oh yes, Ralph Elizabeth Kelly, how I love you so! On your ideal first date, you propose? If she's the one, I'd know. It happened in 500 Days of Summer. That is a total misreading of that movie. Where are you even gonna meet this imaginary girl? Oh my god, I know I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I <laughs> Way too cheesy and implausible. The amount of planning that it would take to get to perfectly bump into you would be absolutely- Please amazing. stop before you say something super creepy. What? I'm just saying that I could plan a way better first day for you than that. A bar is fine. Um, you're in Hawaii. The sun shines over the black sand beach as the smell of coconut and sandalwood drifts through the air. You step out of your hot air balloon and into the surf. We're in a bar. You look over the water as your tall, muscular lover stands there waiting for you. A bar. Okay, fine. You're in a Michelin star restaurant. And here are your drinks. <sighs> fine. You're at a bar. What's with the outfit? It's hot when guys roll up their sleeves. I mean your outfit. Don't you want to feel your best? This could be your dream guy. Okay, Mr. I'm amazing at planning dates. What now? Well, here's where you would say something like... So you come here often, big boy? Ew, I would never say that. What if he talked first? Uh, so wait, the, the rock slide band? Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> if you mean landslide, then yes. But I like to think of it more as a Stevie Nicks thing. Oh, totally, yeah. <laughs> Um, isn't there a guy named Lindsay in that band too? I, uh, I wish my parents had named me Lindsay. It seems like it's got more personality than Ralph. <laughs> it's a cute shirt, by the way. It looks good on you. Thanks. I always wanted to be like her, so. Yeah. Do you sing? A little. Are you gonna sing something? No. Come on. No? <laughs> I mean, Na, 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 na. Come on. It had to be you. It had As long as we're making this up, can we skip this part, please? I'm no, it's cute. I wondered how <laughs> we found somebody who could make me be true. You have a really nice voice. 
Have you ever thought about like singing professionally? Kinda. I used to sing a lot more in high school. My friend and I, we would go to this open mic night the first Monday of every month. I loved it, but my friend, she was too shy at first, but then I got her to go up on stage and start singing with me. Then she loved it too. It always felt good to sing for people. Emma, sorry, that, that was her name. She, uh, she got into a conservatory for vocal performance, so I don't really see her anymore. Meanwhile, I just stayed here, so. I guess some people aren't meant to leave the place they grew up in. I totally hear you. School is like five minutes from where I grew up. I swear I could see my mom making breakfast for my 8 AMs. <laughs> I'm sure she loved that. Yeah. Might have been stupid to stay. It wasn't stupid? Sweet. Are you doing anything later? Because I know this cute little karaoke bar on 11th Street that it's open pretty late. Hey, you guys know you have to be out of here in five minutes. The building closes at midnight. Thanks. I guess I should go. If, I don't know, will I see you tomorrow? Sure. Get along, give a hand, sleep heavy, be the man, just there.